Is your internet moving a little slower than usual? Are there any devices you don't recognize on the Wi-Fi? If you're beginning to suspect that a neighbor is stealing your Wi-Fi signal, here's how to check and how to kick them off. I'm Eric Griffith from PC Mag, and here's how to see who is on your Wi-Fi network. Now, Windows users can download a free program called Wireless Network Watcher. This will conveniently show you a list of every device currently connected to your network. After installing and launching Wireless Network Watcher, it will immediately begin scanning your network. Once complete, a list of connected devices will appear. The list may look a little cryptic, especially if you aren't super tech savvy, but don't worry. Just pay attention to the device name and the network adapter company columns. Those names should seem familiar to you and or your household. Now for Mac users, unfortunately, there aren't as many quick and convenient options. LANSCAN is a decent pick, but it costs six bucks for the full functionality. Most other apps are either expensive or have caveats that make them less than ideal. If you're on a Mac, your router's settings page may have all the information you need. Let's say that the list provided by Wireless Network Watcher gave you something you may not recognize though. What do you do? It's a good idea to always check your router's settings. You can typically open your router's management page by typing its IP address into your browser's address bar. Though many home Wi-Fi products today also offer a mobile app for configuration. In the router settings, look for an option that sounds like attached devices or client list. This will provide you with a similar list as you get with Wireless Network Watcher, albeit maybe formatted differently. Sometimes cross-referencing the two lists will provide you with the answers that you need. If you see any other unlabeled devices in the list, check around your house for any internet-connected gadgets you might have missed. For example, I realized once that my Echo from Amazon wasn't listed. So after checking the Alexa app on my phone, I was able to match its unique MAC address to one of the unlabeled items in Wireless Network Watcher. If all goes well, you should be able to identify every device on your network. If there are any left over and you've checked your entire house, it's possible someone nearby may be using your Wi-Fi. Now, let's say there is someone stealing that signal. Instead of hunting them down, you can just kick them off with a change in your router security. Go back to your router's web interface and change your password. And be sure to choose WPA2 for the password type. It's far more difficult to crack than the now outdated web. Also, if WPS, which is short for Wi-Fi Protected Setup, is turned on, turn it off. This feature makes it easier for people to crack your Wi-Fi if they can get physical access to the router. It doesn't happen often that someone steals your Wi-Fi, but making sure that all of the devices on your network belong to you is always a good idea. For PC Mag, I'm Eric Griffith.